through the sink. Sink and top. That's where I got those uh, two dryers and bathtub and all that. Bit of renovation, I guess. Just kind of sold that house, I think. But uh, anyways, let's see what else we find before we head on. I like to do a little kind of a, a look around my area before I go to my yard. Okay. Pan. You just never know, right? Okay, so I don't have proper tools for this thing. I need a, I have one inch, but that's like maybe an inch and a quarter. I don't think it's an inch and a half, probably an inch and a quarter. So what I can't, can't do nothing right now. But I'm gonna go to Summit Tools, maybe go pick something up. I'm just debating on how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, um, I don't know if I can cut that bracket. I kind of like to knock it down, put some tires down, knock it down, and then maybe we can cut, just cut the sides off or something. I'm not really sure. Or unbolt it, see what happens. Guy says just un you unbolt it and let it fall down. It's not that easy because unless you could unbolt one and it will tip after, which is a possibility too. It may tip. That might be a better solution, but. I don't know how I'm going to separate, separate the, because I like to separate the metal here. Because that, that's worth a lot. Well, this is a lot, there's a lot of waste here. This is actually pretty heavy stuff. It's not light. So. But it's actually soft plastic. You can recycle this. You throw it in the blue bin. It's soft. It's not hard. The reason they don't want hard plastic is because when you grind, when you bale it, it just turns to mush like crumbles right soft plastic just goes into uniform and stays stays bailed i think that's the biggest problem too and then all the all the hard plastics have different chemical combinations fire retardants and all that and anything you can think of but yeah might be a possibility i might be able to tip it um but it's just so heavy man you can, I can barely budget it's, it's, it's a thousand pounds easy uh, he thought it was a thousand pounds, so it's probably probably a thousand pounds, but so and there's You know this wires and stuff and then this panel here, so Okay, let me go um, Yeah, I think That's what I might do take the top bolt out first loosen that a little bit take the top it out and then it should automatically, but I'll take that valve off first, I'll take the back cover off, and I'll take these pipes fall out because they're on part of the cover when that's all off. And if I put a bunch of tires here, it'll bounce on the tires. It might end up being shredded if I can't um, separate it. Uh, <coughs> separate it somehow. I like to do a HMS run. I would take that, skin it, do the HMS run. There's stainless steel here too. I almost think there's a lip in here. There's a lip. Yeah. This is separate. So that's a ring. This is one piece and that's that's the tank itself. This is this piece edge and that's the outer ring that bolts it all together. So that's stainless steel. Right? So it's interesting. Okay, let's see if I can pick up a, a proper socket. Okay, yeah, I just picked up tools right now from Summit Tools, but there's supposed to be a big fridge around here somewhere, but I'm not sure, but I found a dryer. I'm in the fridge. If I find that fridge, I might be able to get it all. It's somewhere around here, but it's in a flat area where it's really flat. So, see what happens if we find it or not. 
It's been here. For, it's been here for a while, but I never seen it. Never seen here. It was a cruise chair before. I can't remember when, but okay. Let's see if I can find that. Fridge, stay tuned. Okay, a shovel handle here. Might as well grab it. It's there. Don't need HMS. Any junk everywhere. Okay. An old, old map here. There's the shade. Everything but the fridge, I guess. Okay. Scooter sitting here. I can't believe there's stuff randomly. People throwing stuff away now. So you just never know. Oh, I see the guy carrying a bag. He picked this up. Look at this. Bag of bottles. Unbelievable. I was in this block yesterday picking up the stuff up. I thought the guy was looking for bottles. Nope. He didn't blink an eye. I'll take them. I'll take them for sure. Can't find a fridge, but I'm looking. Some around here, but not so much here because I was here yesterday, but maybe a little just a few blocks further. Yep. Okay, I found the fridge. Now, good question. I might be able to swing this. Hmm. Uh, dryer. Nice to find a dryer, but a long time. Let me show you what I got here before I don't see it later. A WD-40. I bought a torch 50 times and five times, five pack. I bought gloves. I bought uh, uh, this is standard, some more bits. I bought a metric set. I bought a socket maybe that will fit hopefully. Uh, this bit here is a little finer. I wanted to get a better one, but I couldn't find it. We never had any. Sold them out. So, that's just some of the stuff I bought. And believe it or not, prices are ridiculous. I paid $130 for all that garbage. Unbelievable. And I bought a drinks and some peanuts. It was $130. Imagine that. So ridiculously pricing. Put my chair forward. I need to go uh, in a little bit, so. Get rid of the gangster lean. Look at the end of it. Okay. There. Get rid of this. Let's just see how far I can go forward. It's a little, little back breaking. Okay, I'll leave it like that. This has been here for about a month. I cut the cord off. It's no survivors. Hey, I wonder if you can give me a little hand here. I can get rid of for you. Is this your fridge? Yes. Might need just a small hand for a second. 
Watch your toes for a second. Oh, I just want to lift the bottom up. Very heavy. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'll wrap it up. Then, no one fit. Uh, well, I don't think it would fit. Pick up this one. How much? How much money? Yeah. Um. I don't. I could come next time and take it for five bucks. Oh, okay. But right now, like, I have a van. I could bring next time okay. another van, a bigger van. Okay. 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 Perfect. The, the, the cooler is very good, but it's uh, low, low cold. Yeah. It's okay, just scrap metal anyways, right? Yes. I seen it a month ago. And I forgot, I could not find it. And then finally I found it. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Horseshoes, I found it. I can't believe it. It was been there for a month already. And I, I said, uh, you know, I, I don't want to take my big van because it's, I have to put it down flat. It won't stand up. It's too big. So I said to myself, if I if I pick up those tools today when I need the sockets, I'm going to come here and get that fridge. So I ended up finding some other junk earlier, like you saw on, on video. So super happy about that. Now it's out of there. So I, I have to slowly clean these areas up completely as I see stuff. And then I'm just slowly grab everything I can. So it's in here, safe. It's more than three quarters. It's, it's almost in there. It's within maybe six inches in here. It's a little bit tight for me to drive, but it's still I can I can drive safely. So I gotta go slow, but uh, actually I gotta, gotta go onto the highway from this way. So anyways, um, I think I have to call the video here just because I have to take my sister out uh, to get her some gifts there. Take her out for dinner and get her some gifts. So I usually get her to go buy things that she wants. She lives kind of uh, in a home type place where off people are, you know? And anyways, so I get her to buy whatever and then she buys a bunch of stuff and makeups and different things and clothes, go to Walmart. Take her to maybe McDonald's, she likes McDonald's, so. Okay, I think that's it. That's a wrap, super happy. Okay guys, have a great day, thanks for watching.